Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at ways to use Doubler 2 with Arcade 2.0. For those of you who aren't familiar with Arcade, it's a loop-based instrument that allows you to play loop kits with MIDI notes. You can choose kits from ever-expanding libraries called product lines, and even import your own loops to custom kits as well. Let's demonstrate a quick example of one of the drum product lines. The main controls are the white notes on two octaves of your keyboard that launch the notes when they're held down. After you record them in, you can quantize the MIDI notes to make sure that they start and play in time. The black notes don't contain loops, but instead morph the loops with effects while held down, changing the sound in different ways. Each kit also has four main effects dials that can be MIDI mapped for some live automation. There are also tons of melodic loops. The loops really sound great and make it easy to get an idea for a song going. The first version of Arcade wasn't really compatible with Doubler because when you sing a note you want to hear a sound with a similar pitch and it could get confusing to launch pre-made loops with different notes you sing. However, in Arcade 2.0, Output introduced note kits that work just like normal synth presets. You can see that each line has a note kit category and you can download various presets. Let's look at this kit for example. Before singing in parts via Doubler 2, we'll get a beat going with some drums. Using the punched out kit from the drum sesh line, let's program in some sustained MIDI notes that launch the different drum loops. A good workflow for Arcade is finding loops you like and recording them out as audio onto a different channel. This prevents you from having to open multiple instances of Arcade, which can really do a number on your CPU. We'll create a couple of new audio channels in Ableton and set their input to Arcade's channel. Each DAW has its own way of resampling audio from another channel, so be sure to check out how to do this in whichever DAW you're using. We'll duplicate the MIDI clip over a couple times, record arm our first channel, hit record and also tweak some effects parameters to introduce some variety. Now we'll add some bass with the Brainwaves Lines Soda Sub Kit. In Doubler 2 we'll set the key to D Dorian, which is another all white note scale, and jam out a bass line. We'll lower the tempo for this to make it easier for us to sing a more active part.
We'll then speed everything back up to 142 BPM and move some notes around to get a small chord progression going. We'll then use doubler 2's chords tab to sing chords that work with the root notes. We've used the root notes of D, E and G in the bass line, so we'll just enable those notes in the pitch wheel. In the chords tab, we'll set some voicings for these three chords. For D and E, minor 7 chords will be fine, and we can add some variation with the G chord by selecting another voicing. For the sound, we'll use the Vibe Pulse Kit in the Honey line. This has a great tremolo parameter that we can MIDI map to doubler 2. We'll map it to the ENV knob so that we get the effect as we sing louder. Next, it would be great to have a lead sound, so we'll load up the Clear Skies preset from the pool side line. This is a nice plucky sound with some nice effects parameters that we can map to the AAA and EEE valves in doubler 2. With the delay and chorus levels going up and down, we'll get some variation. The last step is some vocals. Normally it would be great to record vocals, but for the purpose of demonstration, we'll use some RK2 samples from the Jukebox vocals line. We've programmed in various loops to come in at separate points and made sure to have D minor selected so that all of the vocal parts are in our track's key.
Thanks for watching and be sure to send us any examples where you use Doubler 2 together with RK2. We'd love to check it out and repost on our socials as well. If you have any questions about Doubler 2, be sure to drop a comment below and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.